नमस्ते नमस्कार इट्स वेरी नाइस टू शेयर सम ऑफ द आइडियाज ऑफ स्वामी विवेकानंद ड्यूरिंग दिस ब्यूटिफुल अमृत काल विच वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग फॉर द नेक्स्ट कमिंग ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स वी आर ऑलरेडी हर वंडरफुल मेमोरीज wonderful celebrations all over india and wherever we are there as indians we have remembered these 75 years of our independence the 75 years of independence as we have named it as amrit varsh signifies reminds us the indianness the indian culture and bharatiya sanatana sanskriti the arsha sampradayam the arsha vangmayam the rishi sampradayam the rishi hood is eternal it is amritam the indian thought indian thinking indian way of life the indian way of looking at the world the indian way of orienting our lives to be in tune with the nature is amritam it is immortal it is life giving like amrita our thoughts are life giving rejuvenating that is how apart from this 75 years if we go beyond the time immemorial beyond 75 years if we look into the long past look into the deep thousands hundreds of centuries the india's contribution to the world thought and culture is always positive it is always life giving and also it is always life saving our thoughts our contribution is never destructive it is always complementary to the growth an indian thought is all encompassing it is inclusive thought and it includes not only human beings and not only the living beings it includes everything that is how beautifully in this years india being the leader for the g20 the tagline is vasudhai kutumbakam swami vivekananda in his talks and lectures we get a beautiful passage in the fourth volume where swami vivekananda says here that is in india here and here alone the human heart expanded till it included not only the humans but birds beasts and plants from the highest gods to grains of sand and highest and the lowest all of find a place in the heart of man grown great in finite and here alone the human soul studied the universe as one unbroken unity whose every pulse was his own pulse what a line who so ever stands on this sacred land whether alien or a child of the soil feels himself surrounded 
unless his soul is degraded to the level of brute animals by the living thoughts of the earth's best and purest sons who have been working to raise the animal to the divine through centuries whose beginning history fails to trace the very air is full of pulsations of spirituality this is the land where alone religion was practical and real and here alone men and women plunge it boldly into realize the goal just as in their own other lives they madly plunge in to realize the pleasures of life by robbing their weaker brother swami vivekananda talking about the the land of india the janmabhoomi in which he was born in which all of us are born where he says as he just saw the entire history of india's contribution is for the benefit of the world encompassing everything passionately compassionately not only the living beings but also the non living beings this outlook of the indian mind makes a lot of difference in our attitude in handling the men and matter in our day to day activities the way we approach the way we look into it the way we handle the way we transact the communicate the expression of our respect to honor which we show in our all activities the way we share care the way we help the way we serve the way we look the whole world is totally different because as from vivekananda said it is based on spirituality means that the recognition that the power and the force pervading in all is one and the same which makes a sense that what i am and what the other is the same what is responsible for my life is also equally responsible for the life in others what is equally responsible for others to be happy has also a role equally to me to make myself happy this interrelated interdependent interconnectedness of the indian thought is the most essential dimension of our not only social life not only the social structure but it is the national blood flowing in all our veins india as a nation india as a society looks at the world as one family treats the entire world as one family respects the whole world as one undivided unity this dimension of indian thought is an essential attitude on which based on which all developmental activities all progressive thoughts all future plans all present plans even handling 
various crises the economical crisis the financial crisis the crisis in health level social crisis industrial crisis interhuman relations crisis the environmental crisis the energy crisis when a crisis comes at the forefront how do we handle with a humane heart with a heart which cares for others which means that exploiting is never in the heart of the indian in fact our history remarkably recorded even at the suffering of ourselves we have helped others to grow at the cost of our sufferings at the cost of our loss we were beneficial to the progress of others but once the crisis is over we came back maybe with double the strength this is what swam vivekananda says these characteristics these qualities are rooted in the core of indian thought which is spirituality that is where swam vivekananda beautifully explains in one of his lectures in the colombo to almora he says that each nation has a destiny to fulfill each nation has a message to deliver each nation has a mission to accomplish therefore from the very start we must have to understand the mission of our own race the destiny it has to fulfill the place it has to occupy in the march of the nations the note which it has to contribute to the harmony of the races there is a need for india to recognize its strength there is a need for india to stand on its own feet this self dependency this independence from others standing on our own legs expressing our own power expressing our own abilities manifesting our creative dimension i am showing to the world that we are capable of swimming through overcoming the ocean of difficulties is an essential part of indian life and that is what swamivekananda says each nation has a destiny to fulfill each nation has a mission to accomplish and each nation has a message to deliver destiny mission and message as every nation has it india also has it and swami ji's powerful message is we must discover we must understand and we must express it and that is where swami vivekananda guides explains what is that essential part into our whole dimension and he says that the core of a being the human nature is immortality amritatvam it is not just a belief it is not just a, a psychological or intellectual thought the continuity of life is expressed manifested from time immemorial if i am there now means i was there earlier i will be there in future 
my presence our presence was dependent and based on the past as past was the cause for the present present will be the cause for the future so the present the future and the past are interdependent as the present will be the cause for the future future will be the cause for its future as past is past was the cause for the present the future becomes past when there will be a present so all this thought only emphasizes the immortality amritatvam and this is where the indian thought has a very strong hold saying that india is an eternal land its thoughts are eternal life building life saving and contributing to the progress with all these things we know the problems in our society we face problems we are facing problems we are aware of the national challenges we are aware of the challenges in every field whether it is economical financial health side transport side communications there were religious clashes interracial clashes interreligious clashes sometimes we feel that as the positive power and as the satya shakti is all pervading is all powerful at the same time there are challenging situations there are tamasic forces like dharmic forces sattvic forces which will be contributing for the progress in a most soothing and soft ways there are adharmic tamasic forces which will be trying to suppress to challenge to defeat this positive forces so this clash between the good and the bad the clash between the right and the wrong the clash between an evolution and the clash between the suppression but we always should remember a good seed when it is put in the soil the inner force the inner power the inner content and the structure of that the seed when it is suitable environment breaks the soil itself the soil which is covering the seed the same seed breaks the soil comes up grows up and expresses and manifests its entire power like a huge banyan tree a huge people tree entire tree we know we understand that the entire tree is condensed the entire future of the tree was condensed in small insignificantly seen seed of a banyan seed or a people's seed but when the right time comes nothing can stop its growth india is growing india is expressing india is manifesting its divinity all positiveness all contributions are all the outcome of that inbuilt 
divinity of our cultural notes our cultural dimensions and this is an important part but at the same time as we recognize the challenges as we recognize the present scenario in the society in the nation and as there is a need to fulfill the demands of the expectations of the world the world's expectation from india our duty and responsibility is to be recognized and for which swami vivekananda brilliantly presents it that renunciation and service are the twin ideals of india intensify her in those channels the rest will take care of itself renunciation and service tyaga and seva are the twin ideals of this land for any growth for any development for any progress for any contribution these are the two things one is renunciation and one is service renouncing for the sake of the others and service with an attitude of unselfishness the swarth seva swarth rahit seva and renunciation strongly footed on self confidence and for that beautifully swami vivekananda wonderfully explains in one of his talks in the fourth volume india will be raised not with the power of the flesh but with the power of the spirit not with the flag of destruction but with the flag of peace and love the garb of the sanyasi lay down your comforts your pleasures your name fame or position nay even your lives and make a bridge of human chains over which millions will cross this ocean of life bring all the forces of good together these thoughts are the thoughts which give us a master plan a stepping stone a platform for india to fly to raise and to become the jagat guru india will be raised with the, not with the power of the flesh swami vivekananda keeps on repeating that the evils of our society is not because of our dharma or religion in fact the evils in our society is because we are not following or not interpreting the dharma rightly and properly understand understood very beautiful analysis by swami vivekananda and what is the solution he gives lay down your comforts each one of us every individual every responsible indian who loves india must lay down his or comforts his individual personal comforts and he how he named it comforts pleasures name fame nay even your lives are we ready for that unless we are ready for that the national growth the national development will not take place in a easy manner nations are built on 
the difficulties and the sufferings contributions in a simple way on the renunciation of the individuals and that is how Swami Vivekananda puts it beautifully three things are necessary to make every man great in one of his letters Swami Vivekananda writes three things are necessary to make every man great every nation great and what are the three things conviction of the power of goodness absence of jealousy and suspicion helping all who are trying to be and do good that conviction in the powers of good if I am good that power of goodness will help me at the time of crisis this conviction is needed Swami Vivekananda says absence of jealousy and suspicion each one doubting the others each one suspicious of others jealousy of others and because of this jealousy and suspicion one helping the others will not happen and each one will be pulling the legs of the others each one will try to cut the throats of the others tremendous competition winning at the cost of others loss becoming profitable by bringing losses to the others gaining by looting others all this because of jealousy and suspicion and of course Sam Vivekananda beautifully says most positive point the third one is helping all who are trying to do good and be good and bring them all together bring them all together the greatest responsibility in all of us is to bring the forces off together the good forces the all sattvika shakti all contributory forces are to be brought together are to be organized organize the good in the society strengthen the good in the society by organizing and strengthening the good in the society we will be strengthening the national character of India we will be strengthening the national thought of India in fact that is what is strengthening of our spiritual roots and Swami Vivekananda has a wonderful message especially to the youth of this land he says wonderfully this is the time to decide your future not when you are worn out and jaded but in the freshness and the vigor of the youth young minds when there is strength in the body and in the mind their strength is there where the future is bright and brilliant this is the time to decide that I should do something in protecting my national interest this is the time that I must contribute in protecting the national character the national thought the roots of our nation and this is the time we need to water the roots of this nation the Lord Sam Vivekananda says that the sacrificing and service and this is where Sam Vivekananda's greatest message this is what we were doing 
weaving the entire nation was doing from the time immemorial whenever there is a crisis india has contributed and that contribution is absolutely service oriented we have greatest examples recently when the world was in the crisis of the covid 19 india's contribution was unmatched unparalleled our scientific development technological development our contribution in the fields of managing our financial resources when there is an economical crisis everywhere economy is collapsing india stood firm because the indianness is different indian thought indianness is the one which is to be respected which is to be protected and somewhere else some vekananda says wonderfully that for the sake of the world's peace for the sake of the survival of the humanity indian thought is necessary shall india die some vekananda questions and it can never be this indian way of thought indian way of thinking which is inclusive thought inclusive culture inclusive approach is the one which is the need of the hour not the exclusive dimension that is where some vekananda in a beautiful letter to one of his disciples alasingam perumal i think it is on 20th of august 1893 a beautiful letter he says a hundred thousand men and women fired with the zeal of holiness fortified in the eternal faith in the lord never the lions courage by their sympathy for the poor and the fallen and the downtrodden will go over the length and breadth of the land preaching the gospel of salvation the gospel of social rising up the gospel of equality the gospel of help this is what samvekananda expects from the not only from the youth from all of us Thank you.